Are you ready to work with your baby? to get a nice fresh mat. Hey guys, we are still working on just making sure that everybody is gaining weight. And you guys remember Miss Pink Collar? She is doing so good. She's about 10 ounces behind everybody else. So we're making sure that she still gets those um, individualized nursing attention, making sure that she has gained, that she's gaining enough weight day to day still. One trick that I've been doing is making sure, cause Zuri is kind of, she's kind of over nursing. She doesn't really want to be in here all the time um, anymore. So we have been giving her yak cheese and then just sitting in here with her. So that way she lets everybody nurse uh, until these guys are ready to transition to uh, goat's milk and kibble when we make that mush and we start transitioning them after four weeks old We're just really enjoying this time watching these little chunkers grow and then after they have a nursing session We are going to do some sound stimulation and This point when they're in the three to four week time frame is when we start doing sounds So we'll do the vacuum cleaner. We're gonna do some squeaker sounds today different pitches and some are louder than others. Then the last thing we're gonna do is uh, trim their nails. It's really important that we keep those nails nice and short so that way Zuri um, doesn't get any type of cuts while they're nursing or, and that doesn't lead to any infection. So now that everybody has had a good nursing session, little lady over there is still going strong. She's still drinking milk. We are going to do some sound stimulation. In your household, it's really good to have quiet times where dogs can rest and they can go in their crate if they want to or if they have a special bed. We need them to be okay with loud sounds, children running around, in the kitchen cooking. So we start doing sound stimulation um, between two and four weeks old through that whole time just introducing different sounds and today we're going to do two different squeakers one is quieter and then one is pretty loud it might wake them up we might see some startles um, but we just take notes of that and do it a couple of times so that way they can know that they can have a stimulus but then recover really quickly so we're going to start with the monkey because he's softer sound wise Zuri is the most interested so far. <laughs> All right, nobody flinched, which was awesome. So we're gonna put that one away. We have two little guys hiding in the back. So let's bring them to the front so we can see their reactions. And then we're gonna try the louder one. This is one of Bella's favorite toys, it's the alligator. It's like a little startle. Some of these guys that are sleeping have woken up a little bit. retreating which is awesome so I think they are ready for a more advanced sound tomorrow we'll do the vacuum and then see how that goes and now I think Zuri wants to play with the toys <laughs> all right Zuri you ready to go all right come on you grab a toy
You ready to go for a walk? Let's go. Bella, we're gonna leave yours on so we can talk to everybody about it. All right, Bella, let's tell them about this harness that we got. So if you have been watching our um, channel for a while, you would have seen a video that was called the morning routine and we'll link it down below, but we were utilizing prong collars. We really didn't know any different. Um, that's kind of what we were raised using through the comments that people have suggested that we look for something else. And it just so happens that a um, company called Atlas uh, Pet Company sent us an email and asked us if we wanted to try this type of harness. And my first impression was that a harness would not work for us. We have big dogs, we, they pull, or they can pull, but with a prong collar that stopped that. So I didn't really think that there would be another product out there that would work as well. But we've been trying it for the past couple of weeks and I have really fallen in love with this product. It is very easy to put on um, and take off. It's comfortable for Bella. Um, all of our mom dogs like it. Uh, and so I just wanna show you a little bit about it. And so this is a magnetic closure. And so there's no kind of like pinching to get that off. It just slips right off on and off of their head. Uh, the buckles are adjustable, which I love. Um, and so that kind of gave us reason. Hey, Belby, lay down. Um, buy a lot of their products. And so the great thing is, is that we can uh, color coordinate their leashes and their harnesses together. Once we realized we had one harness that fit Bella, then we needed a couple more harnesses for our other mom dogs. Every time that they come into the house, we can adjust their harness and then we can color coordinate it and match it up with their uh, collar that we put on them. The reason why I fell in love with this harness was because of the difference in where the D-ring is. And so what the D-ring is, is doing is that's directing the pressure where the dog is pulling, if the dog pulls. And so let's put this back on her. Billy, up, good girl. So it clips on. And then you can see, hey, Belby, come here. Can you sit? Good girl. The D-ring is right here at the chest. And so that prevents her from pulling and it makes sure that we have a nice safe walk instead of it pulling from behind. Dogs could be walking and their, high, their front legs are up in the air because they're pulling so hard that it's making them almost kind of like a horse rein, you know, like they're like up in the air. Um, and so that's not safe for anybody and it's definitely not safe for the dog. So we have really enjoyed this one because of that reason. It's uh, offered the same amount of control as a prong collar did um, and we think it's safer and we just have really enjoyed it. I'm gonna go make some lunch and then I'm gonna see you tomorrow because we have a lot of exciting things happen. Oh, I almost forgot. So Atlas was kind enough to give us a promo code for you guys. If you think this is something that would work for your family and you wanna try it out, we'll put a link below and it's $10 off of any order. So if you want to try it out, give it a shot and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. And we are back. We had a good morning walk with Bella and Zuri. And I just wanted to share a little bit of exciting news with you and things that are going on. We have Miss Nala today going for progesterone testing, which means that she is um, getting ready to breed and she'll breed with Duncan. Next week, we'll have two uh, moms here, Luna and Molly, for their birth, which will be awesome. By the time this video hits, we will be at 10,000 subscribers. And we are just so thankful for each one of you that are watching. Um, I really would have never thought that people would be interested in what we're doing, but it's a lot of fun to share our life and just our journey with you guys. So we really appreciate every single one of you. Now we're going to go do some sound stimulation with uh, Zuri's puppies. We're going to see if they like a vacuum. So let's go do that. 
Now that everybody has had a nursing session and little pink collar is still going strong over there, so we're gonna stay here until she is done nursing. Uh, last night she gained three ounces, which was awesome. So it's the most that she's ever gained in a day, which is fantastic. Uh, but now everybody is settled and we are ready to do our next round of sound stimulation um, for today. So yesterday you saw them do the squeaker toys, the two different pitches of squeakers and the loudness um, was different and they didn't seem to be startled by that at all. So we are gonna move to a more advanced sound, which is something that's super common in the household, which is a vacuum cleaner. So we have our Dyson here and we've taken the little round part off. So that part is smaller um, and it's less loud. Um, and then we're gonna keep it farther away from them and it's on the lowest setting and then that way if they don't show any type of um, any type of startle reflex, then we will move it closer. And so what we're doing is we're just observing all the different reactions so that way we can make notes and continue to work with each puppy individually um, so that way they get that recover down quickly. So that when they go home, they're not scared of these type of things. They won't be scared of a thunderstorm or scared of a pot falling off of a, um, like a counter, things like that. So we are going to start with the first uh, sound, which is the vacuum. All right, you ready puppies? All right. So we got some two, uh, three little movers. We got teal moving away and we got orange moving away. So she's probably just trying to find some comfort. We're going to put her with her brothers and sisters and let them kind of settle back down. And then we'll try it again. That was good. All right, we're gonna bring it a little closer. Zuri's watching it. <laughs> All right. All right, so Miss Teal isn't a big fan, so we're gonna bring her over to me. So that way I can rub her while she's hearing the sound, just give her a little reassurance. Same thing with Orange. Orange is kind of, she, I think he wants to know what's going on because he's like interested in looking at the vacuum, but then at the same time he is uh, doing some retreating also. So let's put them together. All right, one last time. We're gonna bring it a little closer. Zuri, Zuri, it's a vacuum. Look, just a vacuum. All right, I think they did really well today. So orange and teal were definitely the most affected by this sound, um, but everybody else uh, didn't phase them at all. Some louder things that we could do um, would be like a pot dropping or like the lid of a pot dropping, crinkly sounds, uh, things like that. So we will continue to challenge the puppies and I am gonna go grab Nala and we are gonna go do our progesterone test. So have a good day.